Jane, before we go on the air, I need a favor. My son needs to plan a trip to look at schools next week. Can you do it for me? Well, Joe, it is interesting that you have asked me for help. I was once the corporate travel manager for one of the world's largest healthcare companies. Everything was going smoothly with Getaway Travel, who was our corporate travel agency. I remember working with their agents, who were very professional and always there for me. Then our company changed their corporate travel program. The new manager, who I called Mr. Know It All, was trying to save money wherever he could. He insisted on going on the internet to research our travel plans. That was the beginning of a nightmare. No matter what I did, he was unhappy. It took me hours to find out all the information that Getaway was able to do in 10 minutes. One day, I was very upset in my office. He asked me what was wrong. Now he was asking me why our travel budget had doubled. I was so angry, and I began to sob. I could not believe this guy. After all, this was his fault. Wow. Then what did you do? Well, Joe, I was scared to death and afraid of losing my job. It ended up costing us more money to search online because they always seemed to have surprise charges. They gave me a good deal on the airfare, but all of a sudden we were paying baggage charges, car rentals, and other things. Please, do not get me started. I felt like Erin Brockovich, or whatever her name was, in that movie. Oh yes, that was a very good movie. So what did you do? I immediately contacted Getaway, and was I relieved when I heard the receptionist's familiar greeting. I asked if Jen was still working there, and to my delight, I was transferred to her extension. Jen was very glad to hear from me. When she answered, I started to cry again. I was so afraid of losing my job. She was glad to hear from me. And found a way to calm me down. She set up my account in a corporate profile which helped us to monitor our travel management. What a relief. I could do my job again, knowing that our company was in good hands. Jen put Carol on the phone and the three of us talked about old times. Carol asked why we stopped using getaway travel in the first place. I told her all about our Mr. Know-it-all. I told them how I suffered without getaway, and that I would spend hours on booking each trip. I often made costly. After all I have other responsibilities. I wasn't hired to be a travel agent. I was angry. How much time were you wasting Jane? Each trip took me several hours, and took me away from my job. I was having a nervous breakdown. Then what happened? I looked at what we're spending with Mr. No at all in charge, and we were 150000 over our normal corporate travel budget. I finally went to the CEO of the company, and he was very upset. He told me to call Getaway immediately. I never saw Mr. No at all again. Life was good. I guess the CEO was happy. Yes, he was. After one year, our company had saved over $250,000. Then what happened, Jane? Excuse me, Joe. I have to read this important message from Mr. Clark. Oh my God. They gave me a $50,000 raise and a promotion. Now I am the new executive vice president. Congratulations, Jane. I had no idea that you were up for a promotion. Neither did I. I just got the email from Mr. Clark. I will you get away travel's phone number and you can ask for Jen yourself. One more thing Joe. What is that? Go to the cafeteria and get me a cup of coffee. I like it black. That means no sugar or sweeten. And Joe? Yes. Do it now. Yes sir. I mean boss. I mean Miss Richards.